The graphical programming language is one of the greatest inventions in this era to allow everyone, even the kids, to learn programming easily. What exactly is this graphical programming language? Hey, this is Coach Chris. In this video, we are going to talk about the graphical programming language, which is sometimes also known as the visual programming language. Well, when we talk about programming, most of you will think about the text-based programming like the C programming, Java programming, uh, and the most popular one nowadays is the uh, Python programming. So all of these are known as the text-based programming. Why? Because you have to type out the entire program in text form in order to compile the program. But nowadays, we have another option which is called the graphical programming language. And the most popular software to learn about graphical programming language is the Scratch, which is developed by the MIT. They started developing this Scratch programming by using the graphical programming in 2002. And the latest version now that we have is the Scratch 3.0. And thanks to them, they provide a free software so that everyone can start learning the graphical programming by themselves. So now let us talk about the advantage of the graphical programming in contrast of the text-based programming. So for text-based programming, you really need to study and understand all of the details in the programming. For example, the built-in functions, the syntax, and the keywords in order to construct the whole program. And the software, which is known as the IDE that we use to construct the text-based programming, usually is like a notepad, just a space to type in your program. And if your mind is blank and you don't know where to start with, in the end, your program will end up like a blank notepad as well. So in graphical programming, all the code are represented in blocks, are displayed in one of the columns in the software, and all of the code are categorized according to their functions like events, motions, control, and so on. So if you don't know where to start with, you can simply just explore by yourself one by one in each category to find out which code that you really need and you just drag it out. So another issue in the text-based programming that we always face is the syntax error, which means that a single character or letter, for example, the bracket, the semicolon, if you get any one of it wrong, you will get this syntax error when you compiling your program. So you will fail to compile your program when you have this kind of error. And what you need to do is you need to keep on checking your program to make sure that you correct out this syntax error. And before that, you must know where is the error and how to correct it. So this is more depending on the experience as well. If you have more experience in the programming, you can simply find out easily and correct it in a faster manner. But in the graphical programming, you doesn't need to use any syntax because what you need to do is you just need to drag it out and connect with other blocks. The only thing that you need to key in is like the numbers or the text. So anyhow, your program will run, even though sometimes you might key in the wrong value and ended up your program will just only running in a way that is not what you expected. And that is what we call bug. So what you need to do is you just need to find out where the bug occurred. So that's why this kind of graphical programming language is very suitable for the kids to learn in programming because the graphical programming minimizes the error from happening and this will also prevent the kids from being frustrated when they are facing the errors that they don't know how to solve it. And another advantage of the graphical programming is this kind of graphical programming will allow the user to make animations and game by using this kind of block programming. So we know that animations and game will need a lot of algorithms and logical thinking. So this kind of graphical programming will be able to train up the students' logical thinking and also the algorithm thinking by keep on practicing how to construct the program in sequence and also learn what to do with the program when some conditions have met. So what decisions should be made in order to let the program run ideally like what you want. And this logical thinking and algorithm is known as the most important important part in the programming, whether you are using graphical programming or text-based programming. Because in order to construct a program that is really working well, you really need to think about what of the suitable algorithm that you need to apply when you constructing the program. So if the student has a very strong logical thinking and algorithm that have practiced by using the graphical programming, when they shift to the text-based programming, this will definitely help them to adapt faster when they master the basic knowledge of the text-based programming. And lastly, nowadays graphical programming 
is not only limited in the animations and game development like the Scratch program. Some programs also use this kind of graphical programming like making app or to program the Arduino microcontroller or even to make some IoT projects and also some artificial intelligence AI projects. So this kind of drag and drop features of the graphical programming language allows the kids to learn programming easily but not only limited to the kids, even the adults that has zero knowledge in the programming can easily start learning by using this kind of graphical programming language. So I hope this video by providing the brief information about graphical programming is useful for you. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.